Hi again. I have this nice example of a Macintosh 2SI, but it's got a small problem. Every time I turn it off and start it back up later, it loses track of time, the mouse sensitivity, the sound. I mean, I know what causes it. I took the battery out. I didn't want it to leak and destroy the system. But there's got to be a way to make it work, right? Oh, what are these? Uh, so I picked these up from a, a French eBay seller. They were rec recommended in one of the uh, vintage enthusiast groups that I am on in Facebook. And I thought I'd get a couple, because I think they're just a couple of bucks, and check them out. Now, what you can do with these is put a CR2032 battery into them, and then they just slot right into the existing battery holder of your classic Mac. The problem with just putting a CR2032 battery in a classic Mac, though, is that the Mac tries to charge it, because the original quarter or half AA that's in there is rechargeable. So if you put a 2032 on, it's not rechargeable, like all of them. I mean, they do make rechargeable 2032s, but they're different. They put out higher voltage. But if you try to put a non-rechargeable in there without a diode, then uh, it isn't good for it. Okay, so positive does have continuity. And negative has continuity that way. Switch these. Yeah, no continuity on positive that way. But continuity on negative. All right, so there is some current limiting electronics in here somewhere. I just don't see it. Anyway, they're really cool. So they have a the little Happy Mac on them and just a holder for a CR2032 in the back. All right, so let's just install my CR2032 battery in here. So positive goes up, negative goes down, and it's just that simple. So let me shut down my 2SI and we'll pop this in there and see if it works. All right, so my 2SI here has the nice feature of having the card slot riser in it, which provides the Mathco processor, as well as moving the Nubus card up to the top. And in this slot here, I have a uh, networking card. So this is a coax card with a AUI port in addition. I'll pop that guy out. Uh, you can see I've got my AUI connection, 10 base 2 connection. I'll set this to the side over here. So the original battery would be installed here. Now, obviously, in my case, I removed it long ago. I do still have the top clip for it. And I'll be taking that and uh, putting it off to the side. Don't think we need it. Don't think it will work with this. But hold on to it anyway. So this is marked as positive here, negative here. And you can install it either way. But I think you would want to install it with the uh, cool looking Mac up. So let's do that. So we've got positive and the battery terminal has marked itself positive here. So if we just clip that in that seems like a pretty good fit I'll just put that in there all right and I can think we are good to boot it back up all right so got it back up and running I'm trying to monitor sideways so uh you can both see it let me turn this light off get rid of some glare turn this light off as well So it's booting up no problem, definitely a good sign. All right, so let's make a couple of changes to items that are stored in PRAM. That way we can test out that the battery is working. So I'm gonna turn the volume all the way up. Let's change colors to 16. It, just as a test, not as a permanent change. And lastly, let's change the date and time. So today is December, 27th, 2022. So we'll set it to 1922, I think. And the current time here is 7.37 p.m. And let's set a time zone just for fun. And we are in the Chicago time zone. 
Continue to reset this to seven. All right, so now we'll shut it down. And with the power being plugged in and with some residual charge in the capacitors, um, it's possible that the PRAM circuitry can still be powered for a while. So I'll send the start signal to it and then I'll give it about 10 minutes of sitting here, being off, being unplugged, and I'll come back and uh, start it up and see if we've got all of our settings saved. All right, it's been a number of minutes. Uh, I don't know exactly how long, and I don't want to guess because uh, assuming this all works out, we'll find out together when it boots up. So let me get it plugged back in, turn it back on, and let's see how things look. Check out my monitors. Yep, 16. Put that back to 256, because that's what we want. And let's check out the sound. Still at max volume, good news. And since, since those both worked, uh, I am sure the date and time is working as well. And we obviously know the time's working. But yeah, uh, December 27th, 1922, still good there. Cool, so I would say that this thing works uh, without an issue. Um, I was a little worried about it not having a diode, but it's got something in there. So yeah, overall, I'd say this is a pretty good deal. Um, of course, you can do this yourself. You can buy a diode and a CR2032 holder and just solder it on there. Uh, assuming you're decent at soldering, it's not that big of a problem to do. But for a couple of bucks and a cool little Mac icon, um, I think I only had to wait about a week for this to show up in the United States. Um, yeah, I think it's a great deal. So I'll post a link in the description of uh, where I got these from, what the price is, and uh, I think the only negatives I have to say is it's not an exact tight fit in this machine. Um, there is some play I could push one side down further than the other, and I certainly would take it out before I ship the machine because it is in there kind of loose. Uh, you know, if you ship this FedEx especially, but any carrier, any sort of jostle, I think that thing would pop right out, and they're... Not too weighty, but when you put a battery in there, they certainly could knock around and damage some things, knock some components off. Yeah, they come in a, I got six, nice little package of uh, five left. So I've got some more machines to put these in, but I think initial testing here shows that this is gonna work really well. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.